uh, that uh, are very useful when, when you are working in OpenDG. So let's get started. Um, uh, first is uh, searching a user when you are uh, when you want to search a user so you can you can use a lab search command and uh, if you want to search with the user id you have to specify the user id uh, if you want to uh, search all these users so you can specify uh, with the with the user id is star or uh, let me put another command over here okay i have added a few more commands one is uh, just to uh, add this uid uh, when you want to search and uh, you can also search with object classes these commands are not recommended in production environment you can only do for testing when you install the server and you just want to do some testing at that moment you can uh, uh, um, uh, run these kind of commands uh, so change password so you just uh, uh, specify uh, what is the DN of a user and uh, then is a new password? Uh, same as if you want to get the uh, server configuration, so DS config command you're going to run and uh, you're going to specify uh, the password and then you're going to trust all it is just for the, all the certificates. Uh, to get a backup, when you are taking all these users backup, uh, you can run this command. Um, backup all and it will take all this backup and uh, it will uh, uh, i mean backup directory it will put it over here uh, under this directory uh, also if you want to restore the whole server this will be configuration so this is a restore this is the restore command you can run and you can give this back uh, this uh, uh, backup that was created uh, so you just uh, to, to restore the whole configuration and if you want to export all these users, that is the export LDF. It will export all of your users. Uh, you specify the file, uh, the specify the file over here. I mean, the other part. The good thing about this one is when you do export of uh, LDF, if it, if the path doesn't exist, it will create a folder and it will put the files over there. Uh, so if you want to see what kind of password policies are implemented, you can use DS config get password policy uh, so this command is very useful because you know in ldap uh, you specify a lot of password policies so we are uh, we always try not to put go lowest level uh, to put password policies uh, because it's geared, it can get a lot of uh, issues uh, on the all upstream uh, applications so if you are having an issue uh, the user is getting some errors or some issues so you want to see hey what kind of password policies implementers you can see all these password policies over here and uh, this uh, last command is uh, to just get the, all the configuration information uh, uh, you, you can see if this server id what is server id and the replication all those information these are some of these uh, commands uh, they're not a lot of but you know there's a lot of other commands uh, uh, that uh, can be used to manage the ldap so you can just copy and paste these commands and you can run this command and see the results these are just a very short and basic uh, lab commands to get to know about LDAP. okay guys uh take this one